revacking the entire fleet here at Embry-Riddle. We have um, about 64 airplanes tonight that we're launching up to Auburn, Alabama, as well as Birmingham, Alabama. No, it's literally, it's literally it's right, next right next to it, it so it doesn't matter. The planning of this is uh, fairly complex logistically wise, you know, it's not just hopping in airplanes and going across the country, you got to make sure, first of all, that the airport can handle the, the amount of volume that we're bringing to them, uh, that they have the fuel to fuel the airplanes, that they have the rental cars, and more importantly, the hotel rooms. So we have a whole hurricane evac plan that we have. Different airports selected throughout the, the southeast United States, and we'll go to wherever the one we think is best to wait out the storm. Our uh, flight instructors are flying our aircraft. Uh, they're all very experienced individuals. They're uh, incredibly professional in what they do. They're, um, they operate in a very safe manner and um, well experienced in this as well. So I feel pretty good about it. I've, I've mostly been watching things this week in terms of how the team operates and what they do to prepare, whether it's safety, whether it's uh, locking up uh, buildings, getting students um, out of town or into shelters. Uh, everybody's a real professional, and so it's, uh, it's uh, comforting to, to be able to watch that and see it happen. We plan to have the, the fleet back on the ramp by Tuesday uh, to be ready for a Wednesday morning class. Uh, if that doesn't happen, then the students won't be flying. They may be here doing academics, but they're not, they're not going to have aircraft to fly. Um, right now we're watching where the storm is going. It will be in the Auburn area as a tropical depression. So we're going to have to coordinate departing Auburn and getting back here in a timely manner uh, for class. But if, it, if we can't safely do it, we're not going to do it.